Handburger. There's no time to waste. The sword and shield. Pokemon official card sets are here, boys. A whole new generation of Pokemon cards and card gimmicks awaits us. Today, I'm going to open with the sword box. So these two sets make up the first full expansion block for the Pokemon Sword Shield era. Let us take a look, boys and girls. Here it is. Oh, look at this blue trim around the top and bottom and back. This, I'm so excited. What card will we get for our first attempt on Generation 8? One to the front. Let's see. Oh no, this is going to spoil my Let's Play. I haven't seen that Pokemon yet. Ah! This is kind of extra special for me, I guess. What is that, like a psychic ghost teapot Pokemon with a little cup? Um, yeah, I'm playing, the, I'm, I'm playing Pokemon Sword on the gaming channel, and I've tried to avoid spoilers, and here I am about to spoil myself silly. But, I guess, that looks like a reprint. Is that a reprint? Um, and here's our first one! I, uh, that's my starter! God damn it! Nah, I have seen him. I think I managed to see the three starters way too much on Twitter. I'm not sure what his name is though. He's Sobble's final evolution. He's kind of like a spy lizard. Also guys, I'm really sorry about the last video on this channel. Somehow a bunch of footage got deleted and I didn't end up showing one of these boys plus the full Sobble box. I was running on absolutely no sleep. Hadn't slept well for quite a while there. We have a balloon. Fantastic. We have, there's the, the little one of that, the little haunted ghost teacup, very cute, and then we've got Ferrothorn, and no, no, uh, I mean, uh, what the hell is that, it's Meow, it's Galarian Meowth, Meowth's evolution, so is this Persian, or is it just another Pokemon entirely, usually I'd do a little bit more research, but like I said, I was trying to keep my Let's Play spoiler free, I have the Meowth on my actual team as well. I've been waiting for him to evolve. <laughs> oh well. He's like a crazy Viking. Alright, I'm gonna stop complaining. I'm just gonna get excited about seeing new Pokemon. Alright. I'm really, um... Kind of wondering how many I haven't seen. Every time I see new ones, I'm like, wow, there's still more? That haven't been revealed to me? It's quite crazy. We've got a Yampa there. We have Maractus, I think that one is. Um, that is new. What is that, a boxing glove squid? What actually is that? That looks like a squid with boxing gloves. Uh, it's fighting type, and it's on the beach. It makes sense. And then we've got a Mincino, Zevolution. That looks like a sub-boss from Splatoon or something. Next, what are we going to see on this one? One to the front. It's a whole new day. This is very exciting. A fishing rod. We have Stunfisk, the Galarian Stunfisk. I just... Saw and captured that in my most recent episode. Uh, we have a Sobble, my favorite boy. And then we have, um, on the very end, ooh, something new. I have not seen that. A big, crazy, retarded bird. It's a V card as well. This generation's gimmick. I don't actually know how they work or why they work or how they're any different. I'll probably look all this stuff up after this episode now, I guess. But it looks like in the bottom there, you do take two prize cards for knocking out a V Pokemon, similar to the GX situation. What is this one called? This bird is in a panic. All right, a nice V card to start it off. I saw everyone was freaking out about me saying V card so much in the, the last video. <laughs> We've got um, Borg there, Galarian Meowth. So that's Galarian Meowth, and then he evolves into a, just a different Pokemon that isn't called Galarian Persian, I think, because it looks entirely different to a Persian. Um, we've got a Nicket, I think is that one's name. I have one of him on my team in an evolved form. Nicholas, the fox. And then on the end, that's got to be the Squid's evolution. Would not want to go up in a ring against that thing. So they live on the beach, but they're just pure fighting or ground type. Interesting. It's quite a cool way that they've stylized the set as well. We've got S1W. Because Sword and Shield both start with an S, they can make them both S1 and then have the last character be the H or the W. All right. Let's see. More Pokemon. Boxing squids. G possessed teacups. I've seen it all now. What is that? D a diffuser? A Roomba? We have something else I haven't seen. A sea urchin with a little cute three puffy mouth. It's like a cat fucking sea urchin. 
We've got a Rosalia, I think, Nicholas. And there's Nicholas in his big boy form. Thievil, great Pokemon design. I love these ones. Next, one to the front. Who's it gonna be? That is one I haven't seen in game, but I did see uh, for its reveal. Uh, and I was saying, I thought I remembered it having a helmet. I think it does. It's kind of like a helmet. Um, and then we've got the little monkey. And then we have the little gas ball with sticking his tongue out. Uh, Ghastly. And then Mantine into Potion. That's cool artwork. I like that. You see the Remoraid? They always follow the Mantine around. Because they clean the dead shit and skin off its body. There's fish that do that in real life to sharks, I think. Next pack. We're going to get something good soon, boys. We've got one V card. We have one of the worst designs for a second stage starter. I absolutely hate this design. The long body looks fucking awful. And what is with the feet? That is a mess, honestly. I wouldn't even think that was a good Fakemon if I saw that on social media. I would not upvote it. I'd be like, this could never be a Pokemon. There is a red balloon. 99 red balloon. Next pack. Let's see what we get from this one. One to the front. We have... I think I versed one of those, actually. It looks very cool there, though. In, um, in the actual game, I think they're quite small. I mean, like a tiny little lava bug or something. We have the Queen's Mutt. We've got the monkey. We've got the crab. That's quite cool artwork there. I like the, the yellow piss bubbles. And then on the end, a Gengar. Ooh, spooky. And um, this is the... The way they're doing all these holographics in this era, it seems they have these vertical lines coming down, which I actually don't mind. I think I like that better than the last wave, but then again, that might be just because it's new. Next up, we have, I'm looking forward to seeing a full art trainer at some point. Hopefully a Stunfisk, a yeah, oh, oh ho, ho, something's in there boys. Something rainbowy, I think. There is, wait, no. That's the one I'm thinking of, I'm pretty sure. I think I pulled the, the, the later evolution just then. I don't think I'd seen that. That's the one I saw in the game, I'm pretty sure. It looks more like a snake there than a, um... Ooh! Whoa! Oh, than a centipede. All right! Lapras! V! V Max! There it is! That's the second thing I was talking about. It's a, it's a big one! It's kind of like this generation's mega evolution. The V Max Lapras... And instead of his shell, he kind of has this smog-ridden ship on his back, which uh, I think, I think that's what that is. And then we've got all these weird diamonds sort of floating around him. Right, so we've got these V cards, and then we have these V Max cards. And it says down here, I'm pretty sure, you take three prize cards for knocking out a V Max. He's not a secret rare, though. He's only number 15 of 60. Next, we're opening up another sword pack. One to the front. Flip it around. What is that? An amoeba? It's got a thing on it for someone to use as like a amulet or something like that. We've got the haunted teacup. We've got Maractus, I think. We've got Nicholas the Fox. We've got Nicholas the Fox. Next! I'm excited! We have, on this one, we've got the Roomba. We have the bird. We have Baltoy. We've got Ghastly. We have... What is your name? What is your name? I will not learn it. You are so ugly. Ugly monkey from... Pokemon. Thwacky. So shit. Yeah, I said it. I ain't afraid to call out the thing that I love. We have, up next, Bayday, BD, BB. Um, then we have, what's with the Salazzles and Salandits in this set? Beltoy, Krabby. We have Baltoy's Evolution, Clay Doll, I think his name is. That's a really cool card. He looks like he's terrifying those pedestrians. Or maybe they're celebrating him as like a deity. Seems to be fireworks in the background. Next! Another pack, one to the front. Flip it around, what have we got? Nine, that's the 90, seven, 97 red balloons to go, boys. We've got the urchin thing. The Sado Woodo. Woohoohoo, look at his friend having a peek out of the tree behind. Uh, we've got the bird. And we have, whoa, that's Yampa's evolution. It's kind of g generic ish. He looks kind of cool. He's kind of cute. I haven't seen that before. He lost a lot of weight. There you go. Mildly interesting. Next, what's it going to be? We still haven't got our, um, well, I don't even know if it's guaranteed. We have a melon, uh, but we haven't got our super hyper rare rainbow or full art trainer. In this one, I think as well, 
You can- Toxic Croak? My boy, Toxic Croak! This would not exist in a world with humans. I would never leave my house. I think this set has a new rarity for trainers. Now you can get rainbow trainers, which don't even come in just the typical rainbow form. They've got this, I don't know how it looks in real life. I've only seen a couple of pictures shared on Twitter, I think it was. Wow, we've got both of them. And what is that face? We have the Lapras V and we've already got the Lapras V, v Mega V, Big V, the VV. I would love an EVV card. V max that, and then you got the double V EV. That is, that's gotta be a meme. What is that face? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a Lapras look that intimidating. Yeah, the new Rainbow Rarity trainers look like they have this sort of grainy texture or effect over them. Like someone took their Pokemon cards to the beach and just spilt sand all over them. Yeah. I'm interested. I wanna see them. Um, hopefully, if I'm not lazy, I'll open up the other box of Shield ones straight away. Uh, tomorrow, there is the little frog boy, Krogunk. Then we've got Mantine again, and then we have whatever this one's name is. Another one! One to the front. We have Thwacky! <laughs> uh, Krabby! We got Bird! We have Professor Magnolia! You guys proud of me? I'm remembering names. Hopefully, most of the names are gonna be imprinted in my brain by the time I finish playing uh, the full game, because I didn't Finish playing uh, Sun and Moon. Almost forgot the names. <laughs> uh, so I didn't really have an idea of all the Pokemon and the names and things like that. I just saw them in the card game. But this time, I'm already remembering more names than, than I did after Sun and Moon, I, I'm pretty sure. This one's name is Rookie D, I think. Just call it Pidgey number eight if you want. Next up, we got another pack. One to the front, and we have Bike. It's the new generation Bike. I've just got that in my Let's Play. I've been riding it around. We have, on the end, Bird. Two shitty packs. Third one's gonna be great. Stick around. Here we go. One to the front. What's it gonna be? It's my Sobble's evolution. What's his name? Craig? I'm just gonna call him Craig. He has uh, water balloons, or he secretes water, and they sort of form into a balloon form, and he throws them. There's Sobble, and there is a V card of Del Mize. I think that one's name is. Why? I don't want this. Why are you taking up a slot in my double R rarity section of the box? I don't want you. The giant anchor. Why did you get a V form? Next, we have a pack of card and flipping that. And we have Beltoy. We've got Grookey. We've got Stunfisk. We have the, the small version of the big artwork that we already seen on this one. Although this one is in English and it's actually a different card. Well, I mean, kind of. It has Brave Blade, which I'm assuming is this move here. But then this one comes with like a poker body as well. Also, this one doesn't have a type. Another, Another one. one. You guys remember DJ Khaled? Has he died of a heart attack yet or is he eating salads again? We have a Sato Wudo. We have Krogunk, we've got the- THE why? So many Lapras! This is just a Lapras box! Oh, baby! But he's a more rare version. Look at that! This looks like there's been an oil spill in his natural habitat. He looks happy about it too, maybe he welcomes death. Ooh, but we have a textured card, all in this sort of flowing wave motion. Like he's riding on the wave. He's technically a secret rare. Number 62 of 60 for the Japanese box, anyway. This is three rare Lapras cards in one box. I can't say I'm a massive Lapras fan or anything. <laughs> but if your boy's gotta take them, your boy's gotta take them. Now, just quickly, here's an English code card. Here is an English Cosmog promo. Who gives a shit? And here is the Burning Shadows, one per episode. I think I'm gonna skip out on Max Mofo's postcard collection for today, just because we're doing a full big booster box. One, two, three to the front. Getting rid of the steel energy. We've got a Kiawu. We have on the end this time, it's gonna be Krogunk again. Porygon 2, into, I mean the, the other frog. Nope, it's Pregnant Butterfree. All right, back on the grind. We've got a fair few packs here to go. Still a nice amount. Let's see, one to the front. Flip it around, we've got a potion of some sort. We've got Mincino playing in the water with using its tail as like a sort of toy. And we have Grookey, we've got Ferrothorn, and we have the 
ugly last evolution of Grookey. Also fucking ugly. The concept is a lot better though than Thwacky. They honestly should have just done a collab and made it Donkey Kong. All right, six packs to go, I think. One to the front. We have Rosa Raid, I think that one's name is. We've got uh, Nicholas, we've got Borg, we've got Roselia, and we have Nicholas again. Next pack, who we're going to get? Surely we get at least one more V card. We've got the um, the Fiery Centipede. We have Soto Wudo. We've got a Fishing Rod. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Produce good cards for Papa. We have Haunter. We have Rookie D. We have S Boxing Squid. We have Sobble. We have Sobble Ev Craig. What actually is this one's name? Oh yeah, Sizzile. It's a weird one. Next. Oh! Uh, we have one to the front. Flip it around. We have the Roomba. We have Sobble again. We've got Mincino again. We have this thing again. We have this thing. What is this thing? What is that? That is what? Stonehenge? Is that actually supposed to be a Pokemon based around Stonehenge? Since this is uh, the Galar region is like the UK, right? That's got to be that. It's like an animated Stonehenge with a little weird face on it. I don't mind that. I can't picture what it looks like in 3D. Damn it. I'm sad that that's probably going to be the last V. I don't think we're going to get anything else. But we'll have a shot. One to the front. We have uh, the Yoshi Story Melon. Again, we have on the end of this one... Just a clay doll. Big fat clay doll. Last pack, I think, boys. Let's see what this one's going to be. And then we'll have a feel around on the desk just to make sure I'm not missing any. We've got the angry fighting squid. On this one, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Bay Day, BD, BB. BB cream, face cream review. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Benzac Acne Cream. Ah, oh, fuck it, I'll throw in a Max Mofos postcard collection! Recently, on this small sub-series, we've been looking at postcards that I've got on eBay, which have been all official so far, I think, and from the Pokemon Center over the years. Now, this one, I haven't looked at these. I keep them in a pile and I put them to the side. We have a Munchlax chowing down on a watermelon. And then we have an old school Pikachu there, I think. Actually, when what year is that one going to be from? Pocket Monsters. It's one of these ones that is kind of hard to tell. I don't think it is from 99, but it might be. Gotta love the awesome English. Pocket Monsters always stays near you in your pocket. What a great slogan. We'll do one more here. And it's going to be... I feel like we already saw this one. This Absol one from the JR line. 2003. Some collaboration with the Japanese JR train line. With a nice little Jirachi up in the corner. Alright guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Max Mofo. Have you seen my merch? Look at all this awesome merch. Click the link at the top of the description to buy this merch. Or you can go to max.shirts with a Z dot cool. And if you'd really like to help me out. Please go and watch my Sword Let's Play over on Max Mofo Games. Other than that. I'm hoping I can pull my finger out and get uh, the shield card set out tomorrow. Or if not, it's going to be one more day. Bye-bye.